you're filthy, you may not clear my table. This is my castle. And I'll clear the table however I want to. Sweetie, you're not taking this seriously. I want this part. I was born to play Blanche Dubois. Well, what do you have in common with her? We both live with men who look fantastic in tank tops. Really? No, but you see how good I am? <laughs> Ooh. So nice and warm in here. Gee, you're shivering. Yeah, I'm experiencing a little heating situation at my crib. What does that mean? Uh, the heat is it on. Look, I need to borrow some cash. I tracked down that Peter Alexander guy and he agreed to have drinks with me, but I'm experiencing a little ATM situation. What does that mean? It means I don't have any money in my account. What part of situation aren't you getting, Gordon? Oh, no money? Jay, you better make that car payment. My name's on the contract. Wait, wait, relax, 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 okay? I paid all my bills. It's just the end of the month and I have a few extra expenses. Like what? Like gas and insurance and Last Tuesday, I decided to splurge and have breakfast. OK, is all this really worth it for a car? No, 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 Gordon, Gordon, this is not a car. It's a Mercedes, OK? Besides, you can't put a price on having the respect of your colleagues or the admiration of beautiful women. Hey, and when I put my shades on, people think I look like Will Smith. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I mean, how much do you need for this dinner meeting? I don't know, about $200. $200 for drinks? Drinks, and I was toying with the idea of paying that heating bill. All right, Jay, when are you gonna admit you're in way over your head here? Look, I am fine, okay? I just don't have many of the luxuries you new millennium people have. Like cable and phone service. But at least now I have all the food I need. <laughs> What's the matter, you guys don't buy 2%? Oh, man. Thanks for meeting me out here, Mr. Alexander. You know, my boss just wanted me to bounce a few ideas off of you. Oh, as you can see, I got my bins back. Oh, very impressive car, especially for a young man like you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. And you should see how the top goes up and down with this little remote oh. right here. Excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. Sure. Let me work with this for a second. Yeah. Uh, let me just get my owner's manual for a second. You don't read German, do you? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'll just uh, head on back to the hotel. Well, well, um, you know, tell you what, the next time you come to town, give me a call. All right? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'll call you because I'm uh, currently experiencing a, a little phone situation. <laughs> What are you doing, man? Oh, come on. Give a brother a break. Oh, $85! Oh, oh that, that just sounds awful. I can't watch. D did you get it? No, I won't budge. Mind if I put some weight on it? Yes, I do mind. Get off the car. Get off the car. Gordon, I think I'm gonna have to take it in. No, no, no. A car like this will cost you at least two grand to fix. Oh. I'm tapped out, Gordon. I can't afford this car. <laughs>